for a tow truck company owner shot and killed during a dispute over a vehicle. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Bell. I'm Ginger Gadsden. And I'm Julie Broughton. We first brought you this story as breaking news last night at 11. And today we're learning more about the person arrested in connection with the death of 53-year-old Paul Gren. Gren was the owner of Tow Truck Co. on West Robinson Street in Orlando, and that's where investigators say 35-year-old Tremaine Polk shot and killed Gren. News 6 reporter Nadine Giannis joins us live now from Orange County. Nadine, you're at the victim's shop right now. What can you tell us? Well, Julie, I can tell you it's been a very difficult day for employees here at the tow yard. You can see they actually had to walk past these candles to walk into work without the man they called the best boss you could work for. This as the person who shot and killed him, according to police, walked in front of a judge for the first time. This is video News 6 had from a story back in 2015 that shows tow truck company owner Paul Gren at work and in his element. And it was where he was yesterday, police say, before he was shot and killed by an irate 35-year-old Tremaine Polk. Your full name? Tremaine Polk. Polk faced the judge for his armed burglary and murder charges today. Uh, excuse me, yeah. It looked like he wanted to say something to the judge, but his public defender advised against it. According to his arrest report yesterday, Polk showed up to get his car out of the tow lot with $135. But when they told him he needed $285 instead, witnesses say he snapped, jumping over the fence, smashing car windows, and ultimately getting in his car to get away. But that's when the report says owner Gren armed himself to confront him, telling him police were on the way. But before they could get there, they say Polk pulled out a gun, shot Gren at point blank range and took off. Only our cameras were there as officers found the gunman hiding in a nearby loading dock. This as Gren was being taken to the hospital where he died. Sophie Grant owns the restaurant across the street and she says this community will miss him. The poor man, his wife, I mean his children, you know, just leaving for work. They will never see him again. That's just, that's, a part of that's, that's what really hurts. So we're going to hear more on the community loss here in the paramour of this business owner later on in the shows. But coming up at five, we're actually going to hear from a man whose car was smashed in the tow yard throughout this entire ordeal. He's also a businessman. We're going to hear what he has to say and what he thinks about a business owner being killed over something like this. That is on my story tonight at five o'clock. Julie, back to you. Nadine, thank you. Nadine Giannis reporting live in Orange County. Somehow